Hello there, Taylor with the Armageddon Report. Lots going on, so let's just jump right in. We've got Taiwan out here, who's potentially going to get hit twice. We've got Typhoon Tembin, who's the equivalent right now of a Category 2 hurricane, who's on a definite projected path for Taiwan. And then we've got Typhoon Balavan, who's predicted to become the equivalent of a Category 3 hurricane with potential impacts to Taiwan in the future. And this is new, uh, this is passing automatically off the site. Taiwan Central Weather Bureau. So if you click on either of those, it should theoretically pull the news items that have the word typhoon in them. So for instance, you can click on that and read what the current typhoon warning is as per Taiwan Central Weather Bureau. There's also now the China Meteorological Administration has put out a blue warning for typhoon on this storm. It goes blue, yellow, orange, red. So blue is kind of like somewhat of an advisory level at this point, since the storm is still not quite to Taiwan yet. So, and then back here in the Atlantic, we've got Tropical Depression 9, which is not very scary sounding until you find out the Tropical Depression 9 is predicted to become Category 2 Hurricane Isaac. So that's the current prediction by the National Hurricane Center. And not only that, they've got it having the track where it's, you know, making d basically direct impacts over places like Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic. And then quite possibly now, obviously, it's too far out to tell. And of course, you know, technically you could say this is like the five-day path. Is it really going to hit Cuba? Do we really know that for certain? But potential impacts to Florida, uh, you know, it could go anywhere at this point. Potential impacts to the East Coast, so obviously something to keep an eye on. So let's take a look at Tropical Depression 9's land hazards as of right now. Wind, rainfall, storm, surge, surf. We've got watches and warnings. Tropical storm at the moment. So these would be tropical storm warnings in effect. These would be tropical storm watches. So that's what's going on with Tropical Depression 9 at the moment, who's predicted to become Hurricane Isaac out in the Atlantic. And then of lesser news is this thing that's just a 20% chance right now, but however, this thing back here could also become something new. So 60% chance of tropical cyclone formation at the moment. However, you know, the spaghetti models for this one it could go anywhere at this point. But so uh, that could be potential East Coast impacts, and that of course could also get steered around and affect Azores again, the Azores Islands. So yes, that is what's happening right now. By the way, you might have, you may or may not have noticed the font changed on the side. It's slightly bigger. I did not actually do that. That's what happens when you use someone else's style library. I'm going to fix that because now the map is not completely on the front page. Anyway, aside from that tangent, let's move on to here. National weather hazards as they relate to the U.S., of course. So red flag warnings up in here. So that would be where fire weather is favorable or whatnot. So don't set in any fires unless you have to or something. And then flood warnings down there. Severe weather-wise, severe thunderstorm-wise over the land, that is, you know, not a huge thing. 5% chance of winds, 5% chance of hail. In fact, things were so low, we're not even going to cover the other days. So, because, you know, 5% chance tomorrow, day after, and then it was potentially too low for that one. But today, we've got the 5% chance of wind, so that'd be 58 miles per hour greater. So we've got one area up there, an area down there, area along the coast. And then with hail, it's apparently only a threat for Montana and Idaho. And then tornado was less than 2% all areas. So yes, that's going to be it for today. So severeweathertv.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Here's where you can watch the old ones for whatever reason. Here's where you can check on the drought, or I like to say. Or you just go outside and you stand in and say, yep, there's still a drought. I can still see cracks in the ground. Wicked Wicks, of course, is W I C K E D W X dot com. Cyclocane at C Y C L O C A N E dot com. And if you go all the way down here, you can also see National Hurricane Center, Joint Typhoon Warning Center, Japan Meteorological Agency. And then, of course, any of these, if that is local to you and you are interested in that or whatnot. So that's it for today. Hopefully, you know, the, the hopeful bit would be that this thing just completely dissipates. It's like, oh, we sounded the. You know, we freaked out about nothing. It just became a light shower. But I don't know. Obviously, that's something we're going to keep an eye on, right? And by we, I mean the National Hurricane Center. It's not like I have any special data or something, some kind of special knowledge. Anyway, that's it for today. Enough tangents with that one. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your wonderful week.